Hello everyone, welcome into my outside kitchen. Today I'm going to make you one of very, very, very famous dishes of Iran. If you're from Tehran, I'm sure you're going to remember Juja Kababi Hatam. That was in Pahlavi Street, just north of Vanak Square, on the corner of Zafar and Pahlavi. Oh my God, it had one of the best, one of the best Juji Kebabs in the world. Not only in Tehran, not only in Iran, I'm sure it was in the world. And I want to make you that Juji Kebab, I want to show you how to make it. And basically with just Cornish hen. If you want to make this dish, definitely you need Cornish hen. Your uh, Cornish hen should not be more than 22 ounces or about seven, 800 grams. That is the time you can get the best result from your dish. Also, the way you grill this chicken, it's very important. I'm doing this for one of our uh, followers, one of our followers with the name of Miss Paris. I think she is in the United Kingdom in England. And the other day she was asking me to make this. And I said, fine, I'll do it. And um, you can see all her feedbacks, all her reviews on our YouTube page. And every single dish I have made, she has put some sort of review. If you guys have any recommendation or if you need any help with any of the recipes, just ask me and definitely I will do it. Marinating this juju kebab is absolutely easy. And also it doesn't have any mayonnaise or yogurt or sour cream or any dairy. It's only a few ingredients and we're gonna do it right now. The ingredients we need for this dish are Cornish hen, salt, black pepper or peppercorns, hot chili, coriander seeds, brewed saffron, white vinegar, olive oil. Let's start from our marination. For three Cornish hens, I need about one teaspoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of peppercorns or black pepper, three teaspoons of salt, and quarter teaspoon of hot chili. Smash your spices and your salt into a powder. Also, we need two onions and slice your onions into quarter inch wide. Mash your onions until you can feel the juice has came out and the onion is quite wet and the juice is a little bit sticky or a little bit oily. By mashing the onion, you're getting rid of the sulfuric smell of the onion. Also, the onion become a little bit sweeter or you cannot smell the uh, ammoniac smell from that. As you see, the onion has not been mashed all the way, just has been pushed a little bit down and the juice has came out. About two or three ounces of brewed saffron and half an ounce of white vinegar or white balsamic. I'm gonna cut our hands into eight pieces. Grab the wing from the joint. You can just easily cut it and you don't cut any bone or anything. After that, the leg, same way. It comes off the joint, easy. Now after that, we go for the backbone. As you see, that's the breast and that's the backbone. Cutting the breast, put it inside out and from inside, from right in the middle, put your knife in the middle and go down. That's it. And cut each breast into two. And definitely don't forget to cut the tip of the wings. And place your hands in the marinade. After you put your pieces of hand in the marination, rub the whole thing until you make sure the whole thing has been covered with that marination and add about two ounces of olive oil and olive oil going to lock the actual taste of the marinade into your chickens. And it's the time to add the onions and make sure all the pieces of chicken you have got, there is some onion has been touching them. Cover your chicken. Now I'm gonna store it in the fridge for two hours until it marinates. And later on, 
I'm going to take it out of the fridge and start grilling it. And I will show you how you can grill the chicken very slowly. As you know, when you're grilling the chicken, if there's very high heat, the top gonna get burned and inside gonna stay raw. But I will show you what the trick is to making it a slow grill and it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. See you in about two hours. I had our hands in the fridge for about two hours, two hours and a change, five minutes, 10 minutes like that. And also I had to cut the legs into two pieces. As I said, cutting each hand to 10 pieces, I cut it to eight. And suddenly I remembered I have to cut the tie from drumstick and I did it before I placed them in the fridge. Anyway, now I'm gonna skewer them and start grilling. For a start, I'm gonna lit up the charcoals, get our fire ready. I love to have one skewer of grilled jalapenos. and definitely a skewer of grilled tomatoes. In the old days, they were doing one whole hen in one skewer, basically 10 pieces. And they were starting from the wings because the wings, they cook a lot faster. And slowly, slowly, the bigger parts, they were going in the middle. But what we do now, I'm gonna put each one of them on different skewer. For example, drumsticks, I put in one. Six wings, pieces of breast. Definitely make sure you don't lose the skin and the skin stays on top of your chicken breast. That is how they used to do back home. Two chicken drumsticks, one, two, three, four pieces of chicken breast, two pieces of chicken thighs, and two wings. One skewer of whole cornichon. Believe it or not, this was for one person those days. And people, they were eating it, they loved it. Now I start grilling them. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have to grill our Cornish hens in very low heat. You don't have to blow the charcoals anymore. You have to slow grill them. I'm gonna cover the whole thing. And if you don't have one of these containers, you can easily cover it with aluminum foil. Now I will grill our Cornish hens for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna turn them and again, grill them for another 10 to 15 minutes until they get ready. See you in a few minutes. I have had our Cornish hens on the grill for about 20 minutes. And in this 20 minutes, once I came and I turned them while the camera was off. Now let's check it. Smell is perfect. Oh my God, yes. They have grilled quite nicely. And it's the time to put our jalapenos. Let's put the top back and leave them for another 10 minutes. One of the main reasons to grill the chicken the way I do is you're making sure your chicken, your hen, basically it cooks 100% all the way and it grills to the perfection. Also by covering it, you're gonna give a nice smoky taste into your chicken. Anyway, see you in 10 minutes. Yes, they are grilled really to perfection. As you see, the way they are grilled nicely and they are not burnt at all. Beautiful golden brown crust. Let's try this piece. They are perfect. I'm gonna make some sauce and this sauce, I'm gonna rub it on the chickens. What I need is two ounces of butter, quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper, and one ounce of brewed saffron and juice of one lime. 
And this is just the rubbing sauce for the chickens. Now it's the time to dish up our juju kebab. See you in a few minutes. This is our final product. Hotem restaurants, juju kebab style, or our Cornish hen. It is almost similar to that. I'm, I'm sure, not me, nobody can really make it the way Hotem restaurant was doing it. I have added a couple of different things, and you don't really have to add, and that is optional. One of them was coriander seed, and also hot chili. But I like the taste of them, I added. I remember we used to go there with my mom and dad, and it was me, my mom, my dad, my younger sister, and my youngest brother. Those days, they were ordering one portion for my dad, one for my mom, and one portion for me and my sister. And my little brother also was sharing some because he was only about two or three years old. And I always had problems saying, how come I don't get one? Because I wanted my own portion, the whole skewer of chicken. When I got older, I could get it. Jujuy Kebab Yatem was on Pahlavi Street, just north of Banak Square, on the corner of Zafar Avenue and Pahlavi. It was a beautiful place to go, and I loved it. But unfortunately, as you know, in the beginning of the uh, revolution, I think it was in 28th of Mordad, they burned the whole thing, they burned the whole restaurant down. The food was excellent. I can never, ever forget the food they had. Anyway, Let's try a piece of that, see how it is. And I'm gonna have a piece of the uh, breast, the skin. Oh my God, crispy, tasty, beautiful. And you see the way it is cooked, all the way cooked. Not even a little bit of red meat in there, the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please, don't forget to give us a thumbs up right at the bottom of this video. Also share it with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, anywhere. Anywhere you can share it, please share it. And subscribe to my channel because I do need your support. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.